Saturday, July 22nd. five of them have been quite bike centric me on my bike finding new routes me talking about my bikes i'm very sorry if you don't um if you don't like bikes if you don't share the same interest so this is going to be pretty much the last vlog for a while uh talking about bikes there's gonna i've got quite a few new subjects which i want to talk about discuss and i thought i'd close off this chapter doesn't mean i'm not going to be recording them when i'm on the bike just means they're not going to be so bike focused so had my bike back uh on last Monday. I think in the vlog when I took my bike down I said I was going to get it back on the Tuesday. Then all ready to go. Pick it up now Tuesday after I finish work. So it actually turned out they fixed it early. They emailed me. I couldn't go down to pick it up so I had to pick it up on the Monday instead. Wow what a difference. It, you, I'd ridden at the time for about 500 miles. You forget how tight and how well responding the brakes were, the gears are, uh, and all things like that. I had it back, and you think to yourself, wow, this is actually, you know, you forget exactly how tight um, the brakes were and everything. So around the first corner, I almost killed myself, so I didn't take it a bit easy then. But the bike came back in one piece, and it came back, and it worked really well. I then subsequently went on to, went, uh, on to work then and started cycling back and forth then for the rest of the week. So, so far, how does it look? I've been cycling now for two months. Uh, I've lost quite a bit of weight. I feel a lot better. Uh, the mental health demons are still there, of course. They, they're going to be there. But how, how has it affected me? So, let's have a little look. So, this week, I've done 137.3 miles. That's the most I've done so far. Or also, if you're on Strava, Add me. Um, so, when I had the bike, which was the 15th of May, was my first cycle. I did 4.4 miles that week. And then it's gradually be ramp been ramping up. This is the 19th to the 25th of June. Did 64 miles until you get to last week, which was 103 miles. And then this week, which is 137.3. So it's been gradually been going up and up. I'm not a sort of person that cares about speed. I'm more of a person that cares about stamina. If I can get from A to B without not pedaling, without losing my breath, without, without having to take my asthma pump. And it's gone from me stopping four times on one journey to stopping once to not actually stopping at all. I'm doing Bath to Bristol without any issues whatsoever. And I'm enjoying it. I'm going the long way, I'm going over the railway path, if you guys know it then it's a beautiful path, it's very long, it's about 17 to 18 miles my whole journey is from one end to the other, whereas if I was to go the main roads it would be about 12 and a half. But there's a method in my madness for doing this. I didn't want something that is going to be quite easy to do, it's quite something quite easy to accomplish. I wanted a path that was going to be quite tricky. I didn't want my, my sort of thing to be quite easy. But at the same time, I didn't want to get caught up with a load of cars. I do quite a bit of road riding anyway to get to the cycle path or the railway path and then to get back from it. And I enjoy it, um, but I don't enjoy some drivers. Uh, same can be said for some cyclists. I come across some cyclists and they're just absolute idiots. Um, so, and I wanted the, the, the length. I want, I need this length in order to, to shed this weight that I have in order to make myself feel better, look better. Just over two months that I've been cycling and I've noticed one hell of a difference. Uh, I'm going to keep on. I'm looking at actually buying another bike in the, in the not too distant future. Um, and hopefully, at some point, entering some races. That excites me quite a bit. Um, so if you see me on the railway path, I know a load of you say hi to me anyway in the morning, uh, and that, that, that really is great. Uh, but if you if you do see me, then just say hi, um, or whatever. And if, if I see you, I say hi. If I, if I, do, if I ignore you, it's not personal. Uh, I'm either, I hate to say in the zone, but I'm either, you know, I don't know, thinking about other things. Food, mostly. Um, 
or I'm doing something else. But there, I just wanted to give you an update just before I sort of not close this segment, but just not talk about it as much uh, as I have been the past few weeks. So tomorrow's episode, we're going to move on to something a bit different, uh, which is quite interesting. And I don't normally like talking about tomorrow. I like talking about now. I'm not a sort of guy that likes to say goodbye to his audience before the end of it. I just like to just stare at the camera, really, or do silly things. Um, but yeah, quite interesting this next little chapter. But anyway, that's enough on that. Um, and I'm going to get back to playing GTA. Uh, so, yeah.